नमस्कार वेलकम बैक गाइस इन शेयर्स कॉर्नर दिस इज आवर अनदर एपिसोड ऑन कैचिंग अप वेल आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर एंजॉइंग आवर गेम्स दैट हैव बीन रिलीज्ड दिस ईयर बिकॉज़ यप दिस इज ऑलमोस्ट द एंड ऑफ द ईयर ओनली वन एंड हाफ वीक और अदर टू वीक्स almost not completely two weeks but yeah uh, almost so and then we'll have uh, 2021 which i will hope that everyone will have a very better better and better year compared to 2020 of course not considering those who had very good year but i'm guessing not most of us have that but In today's catching up, we're going to take a look at new improvements on Plus Unleashed PC, new event on different games, and new update as well as gameplay trailers announced on the Game Awards. We have quite a few trailers to go on, so here's hoping we're going to have a very good time and. You are going to enjoy this. And three, and two, and one. Let's go. Starting from the beginning, since we did not did any, and I mean any, of last week, catching up. We have two, uh, basically two, uh, newsletters to go on. Update letters, essentially, can be. first of all uh, what uh, they did uh, around the studios uh, is basically changing a menu navigation and exit method from escape button to right click now i am not exactly sure how good this will be in terms of um, implementation like how well will like this specifically because like for me personally uh pressing escape as it is saying that players press escape every time uh, they select something in the menu or exit uh, for me pressing escape is still okay like okay but but what happens when you press right click like uh, you can press right click a lot of times while you are playing even if right click doesn't really have any function like i do sometimes like random right clicking sometimes so i am not exactly sure that having a right click to move around the menu or exit without having to press a button how is that gonna affect me i'm not exactly sure and i'm looking forward to the next uh, beta test where i i'm going to test all these uh, changes they are doing and uh, trust me this change i'm going to put it on a hold right now this is not either a or for me so i'm, I'm going to put it on hold and going to see how this uh, spans out and then i'm going to either mm, which has a like 70% chance of happening but yeah. Let's take a look at the next ones. <clears throat> uh, now, fixed mouse pointer position. Mm, not sure, but we'll see. Fixing mouse pointer position. I'm not exactly sure how. Like these uh, UI changes uh, can be either or. depending on how they are going to implement it so uh, yeah i'm going to actually see how it goes before anything skip in pc conversation with a mouse click is still fine that's like okay like that that's a that's a plus for me but yeah <clears throat> additional global or regional chat window is a plus for me uh prevent automatic text entry okay plus automatic yeah 
that's a plus for me as well um make repeated messages more convenient plus definitely a plus i love that option like previously many games specifically many mmos chats like that have this uh, repeated message option yeah that's a plus uh fix chat window scroll uh yeah that's a plus for me as well so basically uh when you are scrolling something and a new message pops up your scroll doesn't go up with a new message you have you can still read what you're reading so yeah that's a plus for me as well okay excluding unnecessary chat guides uh, definitely a plus okay okay g key to enter key uh, input button requires a uh, g key or enter key so improvements are made uh, change to enter key hmm. enter key as a um, input button is uh, yeah like okay but i'm not exactly sure like if it's like the action key i don't think action key was g so i'm not exactly sure what that is about uh, i personally do not really remember using g as much but maybe like i'll have to see next time when the beta play for a longer time to see exactly what is uh changed regarding this and how is the, that going to affect me as a player uh added the system menu select server list screen yeah yeah uh, this was needed yeah definitely yeah okay next one <clears throat> uh camera zoom in zoom out with mouse wheel oh yes please that's a plus for me improved lighting and added uh, tessellation okay tessellation technology is added what is this lpv illuminate okay tessellation image looks smoother okay yeah definitely an improvement uh definitely an improvement good uh tutorial is required to in order to play it in what do you strength and All right, all right. Okay, I'll have to see how they change this tutorial. Basically, uh, let's see. Okay, why Korean? Come on. Hmm. Well, yeah, I'll have to see definitely how the tutorial will be changed and how well it will be received compared to the previous tutorial. But yeah, okay, that's a uh, okay for me. So these are quite some uh, upcoming changes that are com which are continuing from our previous video where we had discussed two more changes patch, basically that, and uh, soon, as in next year possibly we'll have uh, the game again for the beta test uh, second close beta test basically for which i have already showed you the page and um, hope you will uh, be joining us in testing the game if you like the game or if we're gonna give it a try that is after the previous fiasco but for now uh, I'm keeping this game as a okay A for me. Now, another thing regarding MMO. Have you checked Twitter recently? If you have not, 
Let's take a look. By Greg Street. This guy is a, a executive from Riot Games, and yes, yes, you can see it here. The sweet words. An MMO, massively multiplayer online game on based on League of Legends, basically the League universe. And I'm very, very, very interested to see what this is going to look at. Because uh, League of Legends, now many people may not like League. And in fact, I wasn't a very good, big fan of League either. Uh, yep, League, Dota, right. But uh, one thing I have to say for sure that these uh, characters of League, the character the backgrounds, many of them are actually good backgrounds that can be expanded into something more. A lot more and uh, since uh, a league MMO is like uh, in the works or rather maybe yeah so like I'm definitely going to be f watching this um, like we still don't have any idea what this game will be, its business model, its mechanic, anything, basically anything. But just the fact that this will be based on uh, League of Legends universe, I'm going to keep this on my eyes. Because, yep, like many, many fans of League and not fans of League of Legends... I'm definitely looking forward to this. Now, you can take your judgment anywhere. Not everyone have to like League. But, yeah. For an MMO on League Universe, this has a lot of, lot of potential. And I hope that Riot will actually use that potential very well. So, continuing on. Another MMO. ES. Oh, so uh, basically there is a new quest and uh, the gifting festival thing as well as the new event and the new Indrik. As usual, you know the drill regarding any of their events, most of them. So yeah, <clears throat> the new life festival, the new Indrik. These are what is new. Uh, another thing. Uh, Right off the bat, in uh, Destiny 2, there's the uh, thing going on, the dawning. So yeah, that as well. There's uh, the two shapes, the bikes, and basically. Yeah. So yeah, and uh, go shells. So yeah, uh, continuing on with this, also new events in every single like game is going to come. Basically, anything that's light service, Overwatch. Uh, basically any life service game will probably have uh, events based on uh, uh, holidays so yeah <sighs> we are going to have a lot of fun there who are playing that do you know the story of Durin in this mountain snow gathers atop this mountain and never melts which is a most curious phenomenon. In fact, I believe that the very sword in your hand has Durin's remains in it. As such, who could I find to help me if not you? Into position! Prepare for battle! Getting a little cold? Genius? But I don't think I'm any genius. is to honor my contract with Rex Lapis. All hail!
it's so nice to de-stress. I made a new discovery while sketching nearby. There's an area up ahead that's quite remarkable. The truth of this world. What could it be? Was the two of us meeting really a good thing? And that was Dragon Spire, basically coming on December 23rd, the new area. This is version 1.2 from Genshin Impact, titled The Chalk Prince and the Dragon. So the Frosty Mountain Range uh, will be coming as the region of Dragon Spire. And... Uh, you also saw the new weapon coming, the upcoming event, and the new characters, as well as the story update. Those two five star characters, four star weapon, all that you have seen. So, on December 23rd, please be prepared to explore the Dragon Spire Mountains. From Frontier. For Elite Dangerous Odyssey, we have UIs. So basically, uh, question answers and UIs. This was a, a like uh, some question and answers regarding the upcoming Odyssey uh, expansion DLC. I am not sure what it will be, uh, but yeah, Space Lakes. So like. Uh, Power play will be discussed later. Uh, heard so basically a lot of questions uh, have been given here, which I'll be linking in the description. We are not going to spend too much time here. Um, but yeah, you can see uh, height and weight are not customizable, but uh, costumes and all will be customizable and all. Uh, so you can unlock and upgrade with. Night vision is one of the functions. Okay. Lighting will be revamped. A lot of good stuff. So let's take a look at the HUD from first person viewpoint. Uh, we have this is the, the Name, uh, health, shield, rank, criminality, uh, authority or relationship from other players. Then the weapon reticle. Then ammunition here. And grenade count. Then we have uh, radar. Uh, this is the environment info, how hot, cold and all that. Then will be the compass. And finally, here we have the player coordinates right here. Then we have uh, health here, health and shield and all that. Fun fact: um, authority level, uh, level uh, uh, to access settlement uh, facilities, and uh, active player bounty here. 
then we have uh, uh, mm, suit power, uh, emergency air, how much emergency air supply you have, and finally the shields. Yeah. So shield are available. So uh, we're going to also see a video from Frontier regarding this. Odyssey it takes on a whole new dimension. For the first time, pilots are going to leave the security of their cockpit. This is going to force them to have a mentality shift from bold and daring star pilot to vulnerable on foot troop. The premise we've taken with the sphere of combat in Elite Dangerous Odyssey is to take the nature of combat in space and bring it down onto the planet's surface. One of the key elements of Odyssey's combat is what we consider the combat triangle. For the first time, we're seeing on foot commanders, SRVs ships all converging into this really unique experience that's inherently unpredictable. All of these elements actually join together so that the combat can span from the surface all the way into space. By embracing ships, SRVs and on foot troops in the same combat space, it allows us opportunities to not just have combat in terms of people just shooting each other, it also opens up opportunities for us to have more tactical gameplay. The wide range of environments to fight in, whether that's indoors or outdoors, gives you a unique experience. Audio also plays an incredibly important role in portraying the combat experience that we are trying to get across to our players. One of our main focuses is making the game sound cool, but way more important than that is just communicating information to the player. So the sound mix supports the player in whatever they happen to be doing at that time, it focuses their attention on the things that matter most. Things like the player's breath, just how intense are they breathing? It's all to do with the stress of combat. It's not always about the bullets and the explosions. Sometimes it's about the much more intimate things that the player's experiencing. Players will have to make critical decisions about their loadouts, and that includes the suit they're wearing, the weapons that they're taking in, and this will differ really dependent on the type of situation that they're going into. We have three weapon classes in Odyssey, each linked to an individual manufacturer. So we have plasma weapons, laser, and kinetic. Those manufacturers each have a distinct style. For every weapon, the character of their manufacturer goes through every aspect of it, whether it's the look, sound, or feel. One of the things we were really trying to do with the combat to make it authentic was to create weapons that felt both powerful and satisfying to use. It's the small touches that make the guns feel designed and belong to a specific manufacturer, like the magazines on the laser weapons that are magnetized into their housing with a really satisfying noise that slides in. As animators animating weapons, what we want to do is bring as much character to the individual weapons as possible. Weapons have two functions. One is to be cool, and one is to telegraph to the player what's happening in the game. If you're holding a big rocket launcher, you feel very powerful. You shoot people from a distance, and you can wipe out groups of people. But at the same time, having that big weapon and the mobility issues with it make you feel very, very vulnerable. Each of the weapons needed to sound unique but each of the family types needed to have their own sonic identity. Part of designing these weapons was to have an emphasis on gun tails, gun tails being the second part of a gunshot. We were really fortunate enough to go to Pinewood to record a small set of weapons, but in a huge variation of different environments, ranging from huge hangar-type spaces and built-up streets to kind of really small, intense, tight interiors and stairwells. So we then applied these gun tails to each corresponding weapon, so they sound different in each interior and exterior spaces that we created. Not only does it make the guns sound more interesting, but it also helps the player know where they are, creating a more immersive experience. It really does feel like you're in the middle of a battle. You can hear the bullets popping in the distance, you can see and hear the ships flying overhead, the AI soldiers shouting and shooting and running, the explosions flashing and roaring. It really feels like you're in a situation where any small decision could have a huge consequence, and there's something really compelling about that. We put a lot of consideration into the combat in Elite Dangerous Odyssey. We really hope that you like it as much as we do. So guys, that was Elite Dangerous upcoming uh, expansion, DLC, whatever. Odyssey's combat mechanics a bit. 
uh, we have seen how it'll look uh, for us, the players, holding a gun, shooting, and all that. Uh, I am more interested in how uh, affected the entire system will be when uh, both uh, ship combat as well as the rovers essentially the that is going on while on foot players are having combat with npc or players so i'm very much more interested at how that is all going to me in terms of uh, the broader picture that we uh, they are painting right now um, not to mention how um me and many, various of my friends are really uh, interested in uh, getting there and uh, doing some shooting as soon as possible which is why the pre-order on pc is right now available and uh, possibly soon on the consoles as well but next year early 2021 really dangerous odyssey now we're going to take a look at the gameplay or rather game trailers not exactly gameplay but rather game trailers presented on the game award show and take a look at the various games that are going to come or updates that are going to come so let's take a look at the games that were shown in the game awards My name is Testavon and the world is passing me by I guess as I get a little older I'm starting to feel how things change they decline how it was with my grandma. I loved her so much. I thought I knew her better than anyone. But looking through her old things, we found hints of something she never told us about. A man who wasn't my grandfather, a burglar ring, some sort of lost fortune. We can't ask her about these things anymore, so we have to go looking for the answers ourselves. My mom and I are out on the road, searching. I don't know what we'll find, but whatever it is, I know we'll find it together. Now, every year leading uh, into the show, there's always a lot of speculation, a lot of games that you might be anticipating, but there are always a few you're not expecting, like this one. Check out this in the world premiere.
city at the end of the world is waiting. So, get out there. Solve the murder with a unique skill system at your disposal. Carve your own path across an award-winning open world. And uncover even more in this groundbreaking role-playing game. Meet and get to know more of the locals. Welcome to reality, baby. Sure thing, champ. Lead the way. If you could only find your gun.
see everyone. Um, all right, well, right now we've got another brand new game announcement for you. Check this out. Unexpected.
year right here at the Game Awards, developed by Airship and supported by Riot Sports. And now they're back to give you a first look at the gameplay from this indie title, the first ever single player console game from the League of Legends universe. This is Ruined King, a League of Legends story. Start the party. The Queen of Bilgewater looking to bring order to this twisted town. And stay down. The presence of the great Kraken unmoved by fear. This is destiny. The legend. Whose strength is only eclipsed by his kindness. Feel better now. Swordsman fleeing from his past like the wind. And a nine tailed fox who devours the essence of his victims. Delicious. I see no fortune for those standing in their way. Can't match my blade. Can't help but wonder what brought. We've got one last world premiere to share with you. Let's get going.
Welcome to Enoch, a hellhole of madness and mystery. If you don't want to end up as worm food, what worked for you in the old world won't work here. Running and hiding are simply not viable options. Here, if you plan on surviving, you need to shift your mind into a higher gear. So let me walk you through the mantras of survival. First, cover is for cowards. Yeah, that's right. You can use cover. Nobody's stopping you. But you're a biological sledgehammer. Act like one. Chuck yourself into the fray. Two, your powers are on tap. You feel that tingling in your fingertips? Your powers are ready to be unleashed. Don't keep them waiting. Three, you've got to kill to heal. There's no use licking your wounds. Want your health back? Get out there and take it. Violence breeds vitality. And finally, guiding philosophy to end. These and many more other trailers have been shown in the Game Awards. I'll be linking all these in the description below, just like all our other <sighs> topics that we discuss. And from all this, we can see that the upcoming years for video games will definitely be far richer and far more content wise valuable than we have now as we hope for the enrichment of the world of video games that we may enjoy further in many years in the future and here's hoping everyone will stay safe healthy and alive to enjoy these and to make this this is Oren ending this week's catching up see you next time good night